Okay, welcome. Hey. <laughs> welcome. Welcome to an episode mm-hmm. of uh Wow Life. Wow, wow Life. Wow Life. Well, I I wouldn't say this is the second episode or the first episode or, or whatever because as you can see, I mean why if, limit yourself, you know? Yeah, why limit myself? Yeah, I mean if, if you're watching it on YouTube, uh you realize that uh we have a new setup uh with the mic right in front in front of our face this time. All around you. You <laughs> yeah, um, but if you're listening um, on an audio channel, uh, on a podcast channel, then this will be the first episode because the first episode that we, the actual first episode we did, the audio was shit. Yes. <laughs> the audio was horrible. Very bad. Um, so we, we, we kept it just on YouTube. Correct. And now we decided to just bring in some actual audio equipment. Yeah, like a, like a I mean, we, we, we had an audio equipment previously, but you know what? I screwed up. I screwed up. <laughs> no, no, no. We just that was really just a pilot episode. Just a that was a pilot. That was a, that was a trial. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, so for for those of you who do not know what wildlife is about, <laughs> basically, um, it is a wildlife or nature podcast or video podcast. Um, and and today we're not, we're not just gonna talk about wildlife, but yes, we're gonna right. talk about hiking in wildlife. Yes. Right. And today, sure. the, the, <laughs> and the title. <laughs> The title is and the title will be optimal. Why oh, <laughs> oh, can't get this right? One, two, three. <laughs> optimal, optimal hiking, hiking experience. experience. Oh, oh my god, we got it in the first yeah, try. We, totally, we, we totally we did. Totally we totally did. Yeah. We picked that. Yeah. Yeah, and and you know what? I, I know that for most of our viewers or listeners over mm-hmm. here, um, or actually just Singaporeans in general. Yeah. I think um one way that we really try to stay connected with nature is. Through hiking. Yeah, actually, I, yeah. during the lockdown, I saw that a lot of people have started taking up hiking as a hobby. Yeah. Like, even with the recent opening of the Dairy Farm Bridge, do you know? Oh, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I mean, they kind of renovated. Uh. Yeah. And, like, recently, if you look at, like, all the social channels, like, Mothership, and they had a coverage on how crowded it became yeah. when it first opened. Yeah, so I, I, I remember during the, the, the Easter Sunday Yeah, 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 that Sunday Weekend Yes Yeah, it, it was so Crowded, crowded. Yeah. yeah And and people really just started enjoying Oh, well, I wouldn't say they just started But I, I, I don't know why Suddenly just everyone crowded Yeah, I guess everyone's just stuck in Singapore And they just want to do something different Yeah, I think yeah. that's that's how people can Yeah um, Live a life outside of urban Singapore. Yeah. Right. Uh, which, trying to reconnect with the little nature that's left. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, which 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 is also the whole point of Little Weight Jungle, right? Like yeah. I, I I really want uh, the whole point of it was to have people appreciate nature more mm-hmm. now. And now that everyone is doing hiking, um mm-hmm. I think we should give some tips as to, you know, what are do's and what are the do's and don'ts of, of hiking. Yes. Right. How to make your, your ex- experience most optimal. Yeah, so you know what? let's let's just go straight to it. Right, I yes, think you guys must be like, why are you rambling? Well, that's the point. Uh, you know what? That's my podcast. Okay, <laughs> that's my direction. <laughs> no, I uh, yeah. You know what? Yeah, if you're the first time listening, we 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 can get rambly. Yeah, I'm rambling off again. Felicia, please hold me back. Oh right? no, it's okay. I prefer us to ramble on. Maybe we will actually say good things as we ramble on. So you know what? Yeah, it's just more editing for you to do. <laughs> yeah, more. Oh, yeah, so excited. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's just go straight okay, into it. We'll go straight. You know what? All of you, I need all of you to close your eyes. Okay, you know what? Let's do a little ASMR. Yeah. Okay? I want all of you to, to close your eyes. I want you to imagine that you Ooh. are at home. <laughs> they were doing all the rustling noises. You're at home. Okay. And then your friend chew you out. Hey, bro, want to go out or not? Uh, go hiking. Hey, uh, yo, hey, uh, Sean, uh, hey, Felicia, uh, hey, hiking one, uh, and then we, we can okay. go hike, we can go hike the, the Bukit Timah, <laughs> le. And then, you ask yourself, what is the purpose of hiking? <laughs> <laughs> what is the, so, yeah, and, be, my first pointer <laughs> is that I, I, I want to ask you, uh, you or, or Felicia or whatever, what is the purpose of hiking? Purpose of hiking. Why do we hike? Because I think that, that changes the, 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 the direction of you know, how we actually go, uh, go about hiking. I feel like the correct answer because it's a wildlife channel is to connect ourselves with <laughs> the nature and wildlife. Don't give me that bull, okay? Because I'm, I, an, a, <laughs> I'm an A plus student. A plus. I always want to give the best answer. No, no, but actually I hike to sweat and basically change my environment after being at home for the whole day. Like I really feel much better when I go out and reconnect with nature. 
So it's 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 exercising plus also reconnecting with nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That greenery, the just that whole experience of this, you know, feeling a bit of the sun and then smelling yeah. a bit of nature. That really kind of resets something in your mind. Yeah. And I really like that. So that's why I hike. Mm-hmm. What about you? Uh, I, I hike because I need to film stuff for Little Red okay, Jungle. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, I, I, it, it's really... A, I, I think for me, the more I hike and the more I observe nature around yeah. me, um, I, it's never a, a dry experience. I think each mm. time I, I, I hike, I see something new. That's true. Or I learn something. And I think that just excites me a little bit. Like, mm. I, I, it's a never-ending lesson. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, that's a good point because ever since you brought me on the... In, Hindi. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Hindi walk. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Hindi walk. Um, and then you pointed out. Um, oh, okay, I forgot what they call it. Kalugos. Kalugos. Yeah. yeah. After you pointed it out, every time now when I hike, I will look out for it. For so, Kalugos. Yeah, yeah. And I think that really elevate my hiking um experience, and I also will kind of do like a little fun fact to my friends, like, oh, look out on the trees. You might not catch them, but they are there. Like, <laughs> they, it's so yeah. fun. Yeah. They are always just. There. <laughs> they're, they're you might not notice them, but they're there. If yeah. you do not know what Kalugos are, you can watch my Kalugo episode on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> somewhere there, if you're listening, it's it's on Little Bit Jungle. Yes. Uh, but yeah, so, in, in, and the reason why I'm asking that is because my first point yeah. is about your outfit. Okay, what's wrong with my outfit? Well, not your, not your current <laughs> outfit. <laughs> Just outfits in general. I think because, <clears throat> I think if you're going... To, to hike just for an exercise purpose. Mm. Um, does that even sound grammatically right? <laughs> if you're going to hike just for exercise, uh-huh. right? I think you would naturally want to be in shorts, oh. comfortable, right? Shorts, um, um, running shoes or whatever, hiking shoes or and stuff and come with a, a towel and stuff. Mm-hmm. But I think if, if you're going it from a different angle of appreciating nature where, you know, you <clears throat> would stay there longer oh, yeah, uh, yeah. and you want to maybe walk on the mud a little bit, mm-hmm. uh, maybe, you know, shorts mm-hmm. wouldn't be the best. Okay, um, right. right. I have seen people wear jeans, whatever. Yeah, okay, so, okay, so some people wear long pants yeah? because they don't want to get bitten by mosquitoes. Okay. Right, and but then, like for example me, I I wear shorts, yeah. <laughs> right, Um, because of, of, of comfort mm-hmm. and I don't mind insects and I don't mind mud on mm-hmm. my leg and everything. So, yeah, let's have a debate. You know what? Okay. Shorts or, or pants on, on a hike? For me, I wear pants because of uh, bites and also maybe the sun in general. I yeah. guess as I grow older, I'm a bit more aware of certain, uh, what's it called? Elements of nature that can be easily prevented if I just wear a long sleeve or like. But of course, I start off with pants first, like leggings. And also, it's, it's just easier to, like, you know kind of like crossing like a big river or something, I don't really anyhow expose myself I'm wearing shorts. Okay, that makes sense. That yeah, makes sense. That yeah, makes sense. yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> I, I guess from a female perspective, it's yeah. easier to just wear leggings and go on a hike. Yeah, so I I, I think... Preference. Um, preference is not as long as you're comfortable. But the... the so shorts or, or pants, whatever. 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 Which but, one's more comfortable? Yeah, but I do want to bring up a point. Okay. You have to wear something that is comfortable but you're willing to get dirty in. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You definitely will get dirty in. Right, no point you wear your Gucci uh, yeah. leggings and do not even sell leggings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you won't have a fun time because you'll be so self-conscious and like, you'll be more worried about your clothes rather than just enjoying nature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right that's mm. point number one. What what point do you have? Uh, Bring friends along. <laughs> <laughs> bring friends along. I have done both where I hiked by myself mm-hmm. and I also hiked with friends. Uh, when I when I say bring friends along, personally, I would just maybe bring one or two. I think you have the best experience if you just hike maybe one other person. Mm-hmm. Um, going alone is good too, but I guess it since it's such a long hike, sometimes it's good to. And I feel like along the way, if you have a friend along, it really strengthens your friendship because uh, it's really just you and a friend and nature and there are so many things that you can talk about that you normally wouldn't have the setting for. Mm-hmm. So I think it's a really good way to just bond and catch up with a friend that you haven't talked to for very long. So, so you said you bring one friend or bring multiple friends? I would say one and then two maximum because mm-hmm. your, your whole focus can be just on one friend. Mm. If you have a group, I guess it's fun too but uh, to really find that 
optimal <laughs> to really find that optimal experience. I think just one friend would really kind of help you achieve that uh, connection that you're looking for with a friend. That's if you bring a friend mm. that you really like along. Ah. Yeah. Would you bring more friends or just keep it? To be honest, I usually hike alone mm. because of the okay. nature of, of what I'm doing <laughs> with, with, little, with Little Red Jungle. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I do notice that when I'm filming with people, uh, I you know what it, it good and bad. I have another pair of eyes to help me look out for animals. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I realized that because I'm so into the conversation, sometimes sometimes I get distracted mm-hmm. and I like I talk like hey hey hey, okay. you know, bro, let's talk about whatever stuff. And then I totally forgot that there was a kalugo right beside me. But so good and bad. But at the same time, if we if we're both focused, uh, you know, it's it's another pair of eyes that, that help me film. So yeah, if any of you want to. You know, yeah, maybe one day we'll have another episode where we teach you how to film wildlife, maybe. Ooh, that'll be fun, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Which leads me to another point. I feel like when we are hiking, I feel like we should keep our volume low. Mm. I, I think that changes the whole experience, not just for ourselves, yeah. but for the people around us. Uh-huh. Um, which, like I said, you know, when, when I'm with a friend, I'll, I'll talk a lot, right? But um, number one, first it distracts you from, from connecting with nature, but I feel like it also... Um, disrupts people's experiences mm. and a lot of animals they can hear you as well yeah. and they they tend to you know not surround themselves in, in noisy areas yeah, so you tend exactly. to miss out on a lot of nature right that's a good point actually yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. not only to look out for the people around you you also kind of have to respect because we are going into the wildlife's territory so we should yeah. respect their territory yeah. rather than us going in so always whisper <laughs> we should talk like that. We should actually, yeah, actually, you know what? We need to practice what we preach. So from now on, we're gonna make an ASMR. Imagine you're hiking, and then you're like, Sean. I don't think they can hear you from that far, Felicia. You need to go close to the mic. <laughs> what exactly? When you're hiking, there's a distance. That's true. Does this send tingles down your back? <laughs> you. Like how an insect lands on your feet. On your bare feet, and then you also feel tingles <laughs> down your back. <laughs> <laughs> that brings me to my next point. Yes, Felicia, what's your next point? <laughs> Actually, no, it's a totally different point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, um, okay, building on that, that point, I know we should probably. I don't know why I'm self consciously <laughs> speaking softer now. Okay. Okay, but building on to that point, um, I would. Encourage you to say good morning to the people. <laughs> For a moment, I thought you were saying say good morning to the animals around you. <laughs> no, but it really heightens your, your hiking experience. Oh, going to the people around you. Yeah, okay. Um, I went hiking with my mom and like, the people there are so friendly and everyone yeah. just say good morning to each other. Like, oh, that's a very nice Whoever cross, crosses path with you, they will just say good morning, good morning. And then I realised when you do it back or if you're the one initiating it, people will always say good morning back. And immediately you see a smile on their face. And I think that just makes the whole experience like and then you are in nature, you're happy and everyone's stressed and they're there for one reason only. So if you were just to say like if you just kind of like acknowledge the person crossing by you with a smile or even just you know, if you're brave enough to say good morning, then say good morning and it's like very good. But I know maybe you should whisper instead. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> That's so creepy. Imagine you go up to them. <laughs> you just we go. You go beside their ear. Like can they put your head here? Put your head here. Good, <laughs> Wait, good morning. <laughs> you just go up to them and hi. You smell nice. <laughs> okay, that is not what I meant. So that's why. I guess just be more mindful of your volume. Like, don't shout. I guess normal talking. Hey, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Hey, hello. <laughs> I see you out there. Good morning. Okay, not to the extent. Yeah. But okay, I guess generally our volume should just be low. Don't play loud techno music. No, but yes, I agree. Uh, no, but like I said, for a moment I thought you said good morning to the animals. Like, can you imagine <laughs> walking past a pigeon and you good morning? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I, I do. Okay, I don't want to say this thing. I don't know if this adds on to your hiking experience. Yes. But as a Okay, and this is a weird thing that I do. I don't know if you guys find it weird, but when I see an animal, and sometimes I, I would like not do <laughs> or not to them, oh! like as like a like hey, I, I respect you. Yeah, I, yeah, I won't yeah. I would like you know, 
enter your your safe space. So now I'll just like, I'll, I'll like not like, <laughs> and like. <laughs> okay, I do that for dogs, but not like animals, like yeah, small I, animals. I do it for like as animals. long as the animal make eye contact with me. Oh. I'll like I'll like, I'll not like. Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> like, I can understand. No, 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 no. Sometimes I, I wink at them too. Okay, that's weird. I do wink. If you wink, it's a bit weird. <laughs> like no, like, no, like, like, no, like <laughs> not not a sexy wink, <laughs> but like if if. I don't know, like if I, I see that they are yeah. a bit scared of my presence yeah. and I am walking away. <laughs> this sounds so weird. It no, it doesn't. Oh. I just wink, like, show like, hey, I got your back. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I won't enter your space. I'm like, chill, you know. It's like a sign of, sign yeah, of respect. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, they can feel your, your, your aura, your vibe. Yeah, but I don't think they understand what a wink means. But I mean, obviously, they're not going to look at your wing and like know what you mean. Like, ooh, you cute. Like, <laughs> no, they won't. <laughs> but at least the aura they're giving out is that you're non-threatening lah. Yeah, I, I well, I hope I hope that's what I I yeah, yeah. I, I, I give off. Scarlet is like in animal world, it's like oh, it's gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> it totally defeats what you're trying to do. Right. I mean, yeah. If if you you viewers and listeners want to do that, I'm feel do free that time, not yeah. and wink at, yeah. at whatever animal you see, yeah. and then to humans say good morning. But yeah, that's a really that's a really good point. I I I didn't write down that. I didn't write that down in my own points, but I do notice that when uncle aunties okay not just uncles and aunties lah, but when when people hiking mm. greet each other yeah it does make me like oh no very nice that is that's a that is a very nice yeah. uh, point yeah yes which yeah but back to techno music wow hey, sorry i get that some of you like music you know i like music too yeah but which also makes me go back to the question mm. what is the purpose of hiking yeah huh? you want to exercise or you want to enjoy nature or you want to go around and dance your 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 night away, huh? <laughs> this one is not what name me a club. I, I don't go clubs. Ah, uh, this one not Zook. Okay, this is not uh Zook Nature Reserve. Okay, we are not sponsored by the way by Zook. Oh yeah, Zook is a brand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, uh, but yeah, I, I, I mean, again, back to the volume thing. I think uh first it you 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 would disturb other people. Mm-hmm. Uh, and secondly, if your song your song choice and my song choice is very different, uh, it disturbs me. Yeah, I I don't like what I'm hearing. Uh. My like, ears are disturbed. I'm not a Swifty, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not a Swifty. Oh. It depends. Okay, maybe I'm not at it. Yeah, <laughs> On the yeah, wall, yeah, yeah. I'm not a BTS fan. Oh, the BTS army come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you BTS know what? All, all publicity is good Yeah, it is true. <laughs> come at me, come at me and give me some views. They are quite scary though. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not. I'm not, I'm not. Okay, yeah. Um, I mean, as in, I, I'm, I'm kidding. I don't, yeah. I don't partake, but uh, mm. they're okay. Um... But yeah, I think uh, it's good. Share this, share this with a friend if you know that they blast music out loud. If you don't like their music, please <laughs> subtly send this. We are doing a favor for you. Um, Jia Hui, uh, maybe you shouldn't. Jia Hui again. Jia Hui, uh, maybe you shouldn't uh, play uh, BTS out loud when we go uh, hiking next time. Or like, uh, sorry, uh, maybe you can on like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe don't play your music. Don't uh, play. Uh. Okay, no, but if, if you really do want to hear, let's just say if you're hiking alone and you really do, yeah, put on your earpiece. Uh, earpiece. Um, I, I, I do I agree sometimes when you hike, music can set the mood, mm. get you in that zone yeah, yeah, and like, sure. like um, but yeah, keep it with your, your headphones. Actually, like, not even just hiking. Like, I feel like even if you're on the road, you shouldn't like just blast your music out loud. Sometimes it can be quite jarring when you're just trying to cross the road and suddenly just like, ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Imagine like you're just like trying to just go to the nearest MRT and then suddenly this and then they usually drive very fast too. <laughs> and then like the music, with the music is just so Okay, but but sometimes it gets entertaining. Okay, yeah. But not at a nature reserve. Yeah, but not at a nature reserve. Yeah. What's your next point? Tiny, bring tiny snacks and water. I say tiny because if you bring anything that's bigger, it might attract unwanted attention. Ooh, yes, that's that's also one of my points. Yeah. Um, water, I think, is a must. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, and okay, I, I wrote down here, water cooler usually only at entrance or near toilet. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, please bring uh, sufficient water because Hello. once you, yeah, once you start hiking, uh, you you go and find you go find the puddle lah. You drink lah. You drink from the puddle. No, please don't drink from the yeah, puddle. Don't, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't drink. No, but yeah, I think it's good to have water. But in terms of food, uh. um, do we really need a picnic? At no, a not park? picnic. Yeah, like bite sized food. If if you for example if you are low on blood sugar and you mm. need your 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 snacks, I mean yes. But my my tip here is actually to. Okay, don't don't put it in plastic bags. Mm. You you guys have seen the the news by now and and, and different articles on, on on wildlife that plastic bags um 
it's a it's a trigger sound for lots of animals like your wild boars and your and your macaques. So because they have they have seen so many humans um put food in plastic bags that they associate the sound to food. Oh. So that's where a lot of snatching happens, oh. right? So if you see the news of of you know well, people snatch my I actually have I've seen it, I've even seen it in real life. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So I saw this. I was filming the macaque episode. Um, if if you if you, if you follow my videos, so yeah, this mother macaque. Yeah. Was with her baby macaque, and then she saw a person, a, a little kid, um, with her parents, um, taking out I think a, a an, an ice cream for oh, or yeah. some sweet from a plastic bag, so that macaque mother actually just take the the baby macaque up, throw on the floor, and ran after the human child to take the food. <laughs> so the I was filming the little baby macaque just like lost and like desperate like I don't know desperate did you manage like, to film the, the dropping of the baby it was so fast yeah. I, 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 I didn't get to you know it wasn't a, a very nice shot um, but I, I kind of have somewhere where I have oh a little gosh, bit of footage honestly. where it's just it's just dropping it oh my gosh you know if, if you're watching the, the YouTube uh, the actual video podcast you know I might I might put the, the video Ooh, on here yeah, if, yeah. Um, yeah she just dropped oh, it oh and, my god it dropped. <laughs> yeah she just threw the baby and she took the food um and then obviously she came back to the baby and 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 yeah. shared. Uh, the so food. really, actually snatched the food from away. Yeah. Uh, I think she managed to wow. succeed taking the the bag. I can't remember. I think it was just a biscuit or or a, or a sweet or, or some ice cream or some wow. nonsense. Um, yeah, and then obviously the 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 human child was screaming, and then the parent was the the parent didn't know what to do. Yeah. She just ah, I can't, walk, I can't, walk, I can't, walk, I can't walk. And the and the screaming will <laughs> affect. The animals also like scare them for nothing. Also. Right, yeah, it, it brings them stress. So they're all um accustomed to hearing plastic bags and then you know mm. associating with it. Yeah. Okay, okay. So yeah, my, my tip is actually if you really must bring food, use opaque um reusable containers. Ah. Yeah. Uh, firstly, uh you don't need to waste plastic. Um and opaque in a reason because the 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 animals don't see the food, they don't associate your your container that much. I mean, obviously, there are still smells and everything, but, you know, if, if it's all black, and let's just say if they ever ransack your bag and then they, they see an opaque thing with, you know, it's, it's harder to think that that's food inside. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so my, my point is opaque reusable containers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because depends on how long of a hike you're doing, it, you can get quite hungry. Yeah. And there's literally nothing to eat for like the next one or two hours if you are really far deep in the forest, which yeah. is why I I mentioned bring a a small snack like yeah. nuts and stuff. But of course, for for me, I would just keep it in my bag until there until I'm like clear of mm. of of course any obvious wildlife. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll I'll eat it when there's some wildlife around. Yeah. Me, and then just keep it away. Yeah. Yeah. Just choose my choose my eating location. Yeah, I I agree. Like I I I have seen people um. If if you ever been to McRitchie area, you know yeah. the, the 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 ranger the ranger hut the ranger yeah, hut. Yeah, yeah. There are a lot of macaques there. Oh, they're just waiting. And then everyone take out their plastic bag, think, oh, it's a nice hut. Let's take out our oh. <laughs> our food here. And then, yeah, I've seen people um you know being confronted by the macaques and then them being scared. Uh, or not knowing what to do because some of the macaques do show a little bit of aggression when mm. it comes to food, right? Yeah, I mean they are animals after all. They're just. Yeah. yeah, we can't yeah. can't control how they behave, so we can control us. Yeah, yeah, okay. and also check the weather forecast. Yeah, right. I think that's very important. Like, uh, it. I mean, I'm not sponsored by this app, but it's called <laughs> My ENV. is by NEA. Uh, and it shows. Uh, I think it's very it's very useful because it shows like the weather forecast. It's pretty accurate from from. I mean, I, I use it for my own shoot Uh, it shows the weather forecast. It shows the actual rain clouds of uh, the clouds uh, in real time, so you can kind of, you know, if you move the scale around from five minutes before to now, you can kind of show the, 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 the pat- you can kind of gauge the patterns. Mm. Um, and also they have things like what, what time sunset, what time the sunrise, and uh, the tide level. So at which point is high tide, which part is low tide. I, usually I just wing it. I don't even check the weather. Yeah. Like, oh, it looks sunny, let's go. Yeah. And then halfway through, we are like drenched and hikes, you know, you can't bring an umbrella. I mean, you try to yeah. bring lesser stuff. I mean, you can bring an umbrella if you want, but it's just so, like, you know, it's just very not convenient and mm. the roads will get muddy, the, yeah. the trail will get muddy and it's dangerous as well. Although, I, yeah, I, I have to say that, to again, to counter your point, mm. I disagree about bringing umbrella. <laughs> you will bring an umbrella along? <laughs> to be, okay, I, okay, 
for for all those of you listening and watching, let me tell you my uh, usual setup for yeah, for my shoots. Yeah. I mean, apart from my camera and my tripod and and things like that and my microphones, I actually bring rain gear. Wow. Uh, and I bring a first aid kit. <laughs> well, okay. I think your purpose of hiking is very different from everyday people's usual. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, again, I mean, no harm bringing it. I mean, I I I I have to bring an umbrella because your equipment. my equipment mm. is water sensitive. I mean, yeah, my uh, my my camera now is, is is weather resistant, but it's not like mm. exactly waterproof or anything. Mm. Yeah. And and it's very important to to make sure that it's all covered up. But um, you know, some of you may not like the rain as much, and I think you yeah. know what, if you want to bring a, um, an umbrella, bring a small uh, a small one, because. Again, if you're all surrounded by trees and then you suddenly want a big umbrella in the middle of a tree, so I, I get it. Um, or bring a poncho. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ponchos are always uh, useful. Um, although I don't like how now sometimes it, it, it seeps through and sticks yeah. into your skin. Yeah, that's one thing I don't like. But but I would personally bring um, a, a, a rain gear. But I think the most important one is first aid kit. Eh? I don't know. I think a lot of people don't usually bring first aid kits out to, for hikes. Yeah. But uh, if you if you fall down or anything, uh, I mean yeah la, you can use your phone call nine nine five la, but I see how the ambulance you know bash yeah. through into the trees to, how are they gonna to pick reach you up. You in time, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think That's I mean true. you know you don't have to bring like the whole box or anything. But I, I think for me bring the bring the essentials, man. Bring like uh I mean for me I have things like Ochai pills. Wow <laughs> I have I have band-aids, I have uh, plasters, I have um what call that? Uh alcohol wipes. Okay. And everything just in case I, I I fall. I think mostly because I, I shoot alone. And you, you really won't know what will happen when you're hiking. Mm. Right? You can stumble on a piece of rock and, and Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, no matter how small it is, I think even if it's a small cut, I think it, it's good to just wipe it with alcohol yeah. uh swap because you, you you don't want it to be infected. Yeah. Wow, I think actually not a lot of people actually bring first aid kit, but it's actually so important. Right? Yeah, I bring I, I always bring a first yeah. aid kit. Uh and yeah, I, I have have I ever used it? No, I've actually never used it. But you know what? It's good that I'm not using it. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Let's keep it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always it's like a life jacket, basically. Yeah. Uh and yeah, I think that's that's it for mm. our wonderful uh optimal hiking, hiking experience, experience. <laughs> uh episode. Um if you're watching um this on YouTube, we will do a nice summary here covering our face. Yeah, and, and if you're not, don't worry. You can just rewind the podcast and write your own notes. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, after all, these are just tips. Uh, it's still up to you to kind of, how would you want to experience it? Feel free, but these are, of course, helpful tips to help elevate your experience. Yeah, and I, I think, it, it just just remember, it's how would you elevate your experience while also ensuring that other people and the animals around you um, have uh, a good experience with sharing that same space oh, with you. Shared experience. <laughs> shared experience best. with you, yeah. Oh, and then, yep, and, yeah, and in our very typical fashion of ending uh, wildlife, because this is just our second video episode and our first uh, audio episode, we'll end things off with a wow life moment. Oh, wow right? Life. So, uh, Felicia, you know, what what is it about, about hiking that makes you go like, wow life? Oh, when I... Putting you on a spot here. Yeah, <laughs> well, positive note or negative? Up to you, anything that just makes you go, wow life. Yeah, I think just being in awe of how... Nature is nature is crazy. Like Me, yeah, it is. How things just make sense. Like plants, <laughs> no, like you know, like plants. You know, they can actually convert food from sunlight, and then they look so pretty. And then the sunset is amazing. Sunrise, sunset, like how it all looks so good. And all this just natural occurring. There's no like, you know, like. Yeah, it's just natural there's, there's occurring. There's beauty in, in, yeah. in something that's so natural. Massive. Yeah, and natural. And massive, yeah. Yeah, it's just crazy. And I'm just, wow, life. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's, that's nice. That's a nice way to end it, end it off. Yeah, that's the best way to enjoy your experience hiking. What's just yours? You didn't share yours. Same thing. Hey! <laughs> same thing. No, I, I agree. I think, I, I think there is a, a nice... Um, I think that's why people like hiking. Mm. Right, because... Like I said, each time I hike, I I learn I I learn something new. Or, I learn something new, or I observe something new, and mm. um, it, it's it's an again like you said, it's so massive, it's so intricate, yeah. But it's so natural, like it's not it's not like a robot, yeah, You know exactly. where I I purposely like oh okay, use binary one oh one zero one zero. No, it's not that. It's just 
it just happens um and it's so beautiful and yeah. and, and, and so well made and and intricate and everything yeah, yeah. just amazing to just observe wildlife wildlife, wildlife. Yeah, okay, well, like, that's all we have. I hope you enjoyed listening. Okay, we'll see you around or he- hear you around or, I mean, you listen to us around. Uh, <laughs> yeah, soon. Yeah. Yay!